Boy, I tell you, if I was a betting man, I'd say that's where a bear laid down. New adventure? <laughs> Maybe, right? Maybe. <laughs> so we were just talking to the landowner. He was telling us that there's a hole of some sort up here. The directions he gave was by this deer stand, and we've been walking up the side of the mountain for a half hour, it seems. <laughs> he said, go right down there, there's a rock ledge. And sure enough, there's a rock ledge, and he says there's a hole down there, right? I don't think he was talking about that ledge, was he? Yeah, I mean... He, I mean, let's, let's put it this way. He, he was drawing the map with his, like, knife in the mud for us, so... <laughs> So we're going to go down in here and look and see what we can find. What do you say? He says we go right down the rock ledge. Oh, sure enough, there is a hole there. What do you think? Ooh, there actually is a little thing there, dude. Look at that. What do you think? Well, think you, you, you can go first? No, you can. <laughs> um, let's take a peek at it. Now, oh, we don't have caving equipment. I do have a small flashlight, so we can go down a little ways a little way in, but I'm not going to go down very far because, I mean, there could be a cliff down there to drop yeah. 50 feet straight down. Oh, that's pretty impressive right there. Hey, oh, there's probably a bear in there, man. Uh, they still be hibernating? <laughs> this warm weather, you think he'd be out crawling around or think he's in there sleeping? Oh, well, he might be. I mean, that's a per he perfect pass. place for a bear, isn't it? It is. Ooh, you go first? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so seriously, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go down a little ways. I'm not going to go all the way down in there. Just far enough to see if it's worth coming back. Tell my wife I love her. Oh. <laughs> oh my. That's got to be like a bear. That's got to be a bear uh, den down there, man. I mean, look at that thing. Looks like you can see where he's been crawling up and in and out of there. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to slide down in there a little ways at least. I'm going to go down at least to... I see like... Whoa, that's deep down in there. Yeah, I mean, I can see the there's a ledge like there. I'll go down to that and see if it keeps going. Um, I don't really see any hair, like bear hair on the rocks and i think he would probably have shed a few like on the sharp edges yeah. i think he would probably shed a few on there if he's coming in and out so but boy i tell you it's a perfect place for him so he did tell us about a uh, like a rattlesnake den somewhere up here too oh. there's like millions of rattlesnakes no oh, that looks good so far guys i don't see any bear here yet All right. Don't smell like bear. It looks like a bear has been rubbing against that coming in and out, but I don't see any hair, so maybe it was 100 years ago. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if anything's growling down there, but. Well, I'm gonna, I can't really see beyond this rock right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop down a little bit further so I can see. Oh, you are braver than me. Well. Hey. Oh, wow. I don't see any bears yet, but keep going a little further. All right, guys. Oh, see bears. I'm going to go down just a little bit more. If you hear a scream and a growl, um, you might want to like climb a tree just in case it's not me coming out of here. <laughs> All right, don't, don't hear anything yet. Oh, wow. I, t I don't know why there's not a bear in here, but it doesn't look like it goes any further. I can't really tell. Who's a bat? Look, bats in there. Some, a few formations. Stalactites, oh, stalactites there. There's some little bats that are sleeping, so need to be. Those are bats that are hibernating, so they're. Um, we don't want to disturb them, so we need to be a little bit more quiet than we are. Uh, so, because the problem is, if you if you wake them up, um, they'll go back to sleep, but uh, they use up their energy. Um, you know, the heart starts beating faster. They have to breathe heavier when they come out of hibernation, and uh, it uses up their reserves, the fat reserves. So if you do that enough times, or even one time sometimes, uh, they can die. They'll actually starve before spring comes and they can fly out. So we'll be a little bit quiet uh, so we don't do that. Okay, let's go down here a little bit further. Um, 
so I'm not seeing the, this. You can see all these rocks right here. This is a pile of rocks that have fallen down from the roof over the centuries, millions of years, who knows? Um, but I don't know if we're going to actually be able. I thought that was bear, bear pool, and it could be. If there's a bear in here, I'm not going to be happy. I don't think it's, look at all the nuts. So something's carrying things in here, like uh, pack rats or something. A little bit further. There's a little bit of formations in there, not a lot. That could go down that way, but just gonna have to be dug on and follow the trends along that wall. So I don't think this is gonna go any further, really, than it is right now. But it's definitely, you know, we could name this cave if it doesn't have a name. I don't think it does. All right, I guess that's where the water's been dripping down over there. It's got some cave crickets there and that little, uh, little ribbon formation. Slide tights that are broken off. I don't think I don't think we're gonna get any further here. Um uh you know it could possibly be dug out, but I think we have better well, I don't know, it looks like it keeps going actually. That keeps going. Look. Alright, we're gonna put this on the back burner. Come back and I think we can we can crawl right up through there and it might drop down. I don't know. But I'm not gonna do it today because I have one flashlight. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll take a quick peek at the bats on the way out. That looks like a nest. Somebody's nest up there. Let's make sure there's no bats up here. I don't want to disturb them. Boy, I tell you. If I was a betting man, I'd say that's where a bear laid down right there or something. Look how that is circular. I mean, I don't know if it is, but that is, that's weird, man. I think it's a bear bed. Um, there's definitely, and the reason I got the camera back out, a little nest here. That's that probably I was telling you about the pack rats. That's probably a pack rat nest right there. Yeah, I tell you, I think it might be a hawk feather. But that could be where an old bear hibernates. What a perfect place. You know, I think I'm lucky that the weather's so warm, they'd probably be out still running around. So let's get, <laughs> let's get out of here before he comes back for the night. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the 